Geometric sequence is a sequence in which each term is obtained from the preceding term by multiplying a common ratio. Let us take this given example. 3, negative 9, 27, negative 81, and so on. If we're going to divide negative 9 by 3, which is uh, its preceding term, the ratio is negative 3. 27 divided by its sub preceding term, which is negative 9, the ratio is also negative 3. Similarly, negative 81 divided by 27, the ratio is also negative 3. Notice that uh, the ratio is common. So, we can say that the common ratio of this given is negative 3. And this tells us that since it has a common ratio, this sequence is called a geometric sequence. So let us answer a geometric sequence example. Find the eighth term of the geometric sequence of numbers 5, 10, and so on and so forth. So this kind of problem can be solved by using formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1, where a sub n is the last term, a sub 1 is the first term, n is the number of terms, and r represents the common ratio. So let's start by writing down our given from the problem. So in here, our n is 8 because we are asked to find the 8th term. So we know that our n here is 8. So our a sub 1 is 5 because our first term here is 5. And our common ratio is 2 because 10 divided by 5 or 20 divided by 10, this gives us uh, 2. And we're going to find the a sub n. And in this case, our a sub n is a sub 8 because n here is equal to 8. So what is now our a sub 8? If we're going to picture out this uh, given, this is how it looks like. We're in the first three terms, 5, 10, and 20 are given. And what will be its 8th term? So in order to solve that, we will start writing the formula, then substitute the given, and solve. So by the order of operation, we'll start with exponent. 8 minus 1 is 7. Then 2 raised to 7 is 128. 128 times 5 is 640. Therefore, uh, the 8th term in this given geometric sequence is 640. So this one is 640. In given number 2, find the common ratio of the geometric sequence in which the first term is negative 4 and the 6th term is 972. So if we're going to visualize this problem, this is how it looks like. Our a sub 1 is negative 4 and our 6th term or a sub 6 is 972. What is the n or the r which represents the common ratio? So let's start writing down our given from the problem. So our r, so that's the common ratio, that's what we're trying to find. And our a sub 1 here is negative 4. Then n is the sixth term from here. And our a sub n, which is a sub 6, that is equal to 972. So let's start write the formula, substitute the given. Then from here, we're going to isolate r. So let's start by uh, simplifying or eliminating negative 4. That is by uh, dividing negative 4 in each side of the equation. And from here, we are left with r raised to the fifth power on the right side. 972 divided by negative 4 is negative 243 on the left side. Then finally, from here, since we want to solve for r, we're going to eliminate the exponent 5. In order to do that, we're going to find the fifth root in each side of the equation because we want to eliminate this exponent right here. And this leaves us r. Then simplifying fifth root of negative 243, that is negative 3. Because if we're going to multiply negative 3 by itself 5 times, you will get negative 243. So therefore, our r or the common ratio is negative 3. In our last example, uh, in a given geometric sequence 2, 4, and so on, which term is 128? So if we're going to draw this, this is how it looks like. So the first three terms are given, and one of the terms, which is 128, is also given, but we have no clue which term is it. So we are now going to find the n here. So let's start uh, laying down our given. So from our problem, our a sub 1 is 2, obviously. And our 
common ratio R is 2, 4 divided by 2 is 2, or 8 divided by 4 is also 2. Then our N is unknown, and our A sub N here, that's our last term, that's 128. So write the formula, then substitute the given. Then after that, we're going to isolate the N. So let's start uh, eliminating 2, and that is by dividing uh, 2 in each side of the equation, so that from here, we will be left with uh, 64 is equal to 2 raised to n minus 1. Then from here, uh, since uh, in the right side of our equation, it is written in an exponential form. So we're going to transform also this 64 into an exponential form. So we know that 64 uh, can be transformed into 8 squared because 8 times 8 is 64. Uh, similarly, this can also be transformed into 4 cubed because 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. And this can also be written into 2 raised to the 6th power because multiplying 2 by itself 6 times, you will get 64. Now, which of this exponential form are we going to uh, change 64? So in this case, we're going to use 2 raised to the 6th power. For what purpose? Because the base of this exponential form is 2 which is the same with uh, the right uh, side of our equation. So change 64 into 2 raised to the 6th power. So since the bases are now the same, we can now focus on the exponent. 6 is equal to n minus 1. So in this equation, we can finally isolate n by adding 1 in each side of the equation. And our n here is equal to 6 plus 1, that is 7. Therefore, uh, 128 is in the 7th term in this given geometric sequence.